was corrupt, got through a flood out there, extinguished everyone except Noah, his wife, his three sons, and three daughters. And we are all descendants of Noah. Why do I bring this up? Because God gave Noah and his family seven commandments to observe. Number one, there's only one God you have to believe in. Number two, don't worship false gods. Number three, don't steal. Number four, don't murder. Number five, don't commit adultery. Why? How can you have stable society without those three things? We don't respect property, marriage, life itself. How can you have society? It's just disintegrates into chaos. The sixth is to establish courts of justice that are actually interested in enforcing the rule of law. And the seventh, which is very interesting, uh, which I'll give you my explanation. Um, not to eat from an animal that while it's alive. In other words, don't eat the limb of a living animal. What does that mean? Well, it really hurts. God made animals, you want to eat them, fine, but be decent. Why should you torture animals? You can extrapolate that to the concept. Respect the world and God's creations. He's given you, he needed to make an apple. He could have created life without an apple. But he gave us a candy, or an orange. What, why do we need an orange to live? We don't, but he gave us a gift. And there are a lot of gifts, a pretty flower. You just have to stop for a minute and pay attention. Respect God's creation. So again, one God, don't have other gods, don't steal and murder, or commit adultery, set up courts of justice, and respect God's creation. That's it. Those are the seven laws given to Noah and given to us. As humanity, we need to live by those laws. And those are laws that I think resonate in everyone's mind. Simple. They would resonate to be true. And not that they have to like Who thinks stealing is good? Or taking someone else's wife? Or just indiscriminately. By the way, I didn't say kill. Sometimes it's good to kill. And the right circumstances. I said murder. If someone comes into my house to forcibly inject any of my loved ones, someone else is going to get a shot. Right in there. <laughs> Of divine consciousness that allow that to exist. 
And what we need to do, what we need to do is to fill that internal vacuum inside us. Again, I can't fill your vacuum. I can only fill my vacuum. Um, and try to live with being mindful of the Creator and the gifts of life that He's giving us. And just be grateful for being. And if more enough people, in my opinion, believe, enough people cross that threshold, then the supernatural messianic intervention will come. And that will be the solution. God bless you.